Welcome to the Perinatal University Advanced Fetal Monitoring FA Bundle Course Presentation. It is evident with communication errors, number one, and orientation and training, number two, improvement in intrapartum care is warranted. Following the release of the 2004 JACO Sentinel Event Survey publication, ACOG and A1 adopted the 1997 NICHD nomenclature as the national standard of care for interpretation and communication of fetal heart rate data among all practitioners skilled in electronic fetal monitoring. Today we will complete a case review from real life obstetrical clinical scenarios. In following NICHD guidelines, this 14-minute sample strip contains two optimal areas for a baseline assessment. The presence of an abnormal baseline rate places this pattern into NICHD Category 2. Patterns that evolve from NICHD Category 1 to Category 3 impact bedside practice. Therefore, identification and management of fetuses at risk for evolutionary changes is key to patient safety and improved fetal outcomes. In sample B, the fetal heart rate continues for 13 minutes of bradycardia. These metabolic acidosis results would most likely accompany strip B. Medical legal malpractice involves determination of cause with the question, was the injury avoidable and foreseeable? You may now proceed to the next topic in the series. Thank you for your time and attention. We appreciate your participation in our program. Have a wonderful day.